Epic Games made a huge change to Fortnite gameplay the other day with the big Attack on Titan update, and we were all distracted by what came with the Attack on Titan update, the ODM gear, all the new mythics, the new skins in the item shop, the new original skins that came out. We were all distracted, but they actually changed something that I think has quite the effect on the game. We're going to talk about it in just a second. Before we get into it, though, I do want to say hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Kyle. I am your guy with too many YouTube channels. Let's talk about the Fortnite update. So, Fortnite status did post this if you haven't seen it. We've made changes to the storm. Later circles now move as they close in all of Battle Royale, similar to competitive play. We'll talk about it in just a second, I want to read it all though. We've adjusted all moving storms and later circle timings. We've also re-enabled dynamic storm circles to conditionally vary the time between zones. With dynamic storm circles, zone timings will adjust based on the players remaining and accelerate games with not many players left relative to the circle's size. I think this is an absolutely fantastic change, and that explains a lot when I've been playing the past couple days because I haven't seen it. I haven't seen this tweet actually. We were talking, I was just talking about it. I found out right before my stream yesterday. It doesn't really matter what I found out. The point is, I played with it, and I noticed some games were actually really long. Some games were like upwards of 25 minutes, which is very unlike Fortnite. You Usually it's around like 20, 22 minutes a game, right? So the first thing I do like is later circles that will now move. I think that's a fantastic idea, and I don't know why this wasn't a thing before. I was always of the opinion that competitive had it perfect, where it's okay, it's the end game, the circles should move around. I find that more fun personally, I find it more chaotic, and it, I just think it's a good thing instead of the zone just constantly shrinking and shrinking and shrinking into one. If you're unfamiliar with that is, how Battle Royale has always worked, or at, at some points they tweaked with it, but for the most part how it's always worked is, the storm at the end would just close to the center constantly, constantly, constantly until there's nothing. But now, it moves along just like everywhere with competitive play. I think that's fantastic, okay? But the other thing, which is really, really interesting, is the dynamic storm circles. I'll say it again what it was. Zone timings will adjust based on players remaining and accelerate games with not too many players left relative to the circle size. So, in simple terms, what this means is if you have a game that has a ton of people, the circle will stay a little bit bigger. But if you're in a game where everybody died really quick, because we know we've had this problem with Fortnite for a very long time, right? Sometimes mid games are really, really slow and you can't find anybody. If the circle's really big, if the first, if you're still in the first circle, there's like 12 people left, there will be less time and the zone will shrink quicker. I think that's a fantastic change. Why hasn't this always been a thing? I, I'm sure, well, they said they re-enabled dynamic storm circles. So at some point they have had this. Have I just not known about it? Because this would solve the problem, and this is why one of the reasons why I always talk about, on this channel, Chapter 2 Season 7, The Mothership Game. That fixed the problem for so many mid-games in Fortnite. Where it's like, okay, there's nothing going on right now, we just had our first fight, now we wait forever until the end game, or at least like, a little bit before that. And then we had the Mothership mini game to distract us, and we were playing against other people around the map. They kind of forced us to come together. This is also a change to that. And that's why I've always championed, I was like, we need something like this back. Why can't Epic Games give us a minigame? But this is almost as good. And I'm going to pay attention to when I play for like a week or so. And depending if my attitude towards this changes at all, I will upload another video talking about it. If not, th this is probably going to be the end of it. <laughs> so it's, it's interesting though. This seems like it's almost common sense that this something like this should be in the game. There's more people, the game should be a little bit longer. What's the, what's the point in really making everybody fight against in one little circle, you know what I mean? So, I think it's very interesting, very, very interesting. I think, I can't think of off the top of my head anyways, I think this is the perfect way to have the storms and the circles. Changing the time, changing the moving, I think it's great. It makes every game different, right? It makes it makes all Fortnite games not feel the same. That's what we love about Fortnite. Something's always changing. While we're talking about the storm, there's something else that I did want to mention is that we apparently Epic Games has been working on for a little while now, changing and splitting up the storms, kind of like what we've seen in Warzone, where it's like, okay, the storm's gonna go off into different sections. I always thought it'd be interesting to play around with the storm, like maybe the storm could be like a shape of a triangle or something like that. I feel like that'd be interesting to bring into Fortnite as well. It'd be cool if we could do that in Creative 2.0 with Switch that. I don't even know if that's possible, but regardless, it will be possible due time it's modding in the game, right? But for now, this is really interesting, and I'm going to pay attention to how many players are in my games and how, like, the flow of the game's feeling right now, because I haven't really noticed. I just noticed some games were longer. So, I'll pay more attention now, and if there's any other thoughts that I have on this, I'll upload a video just talking about it again. For now, though, I'll leave it up to you guys. I want to know what you think down below. What do you think about these changes? What do you think about both changes, the dynamic storm circles and the later circles that work like the uh, moving zones, like in competitive play? I think it's a great change, but I'd love to hear from you down below whether you agree or disagree. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. On the screen right now, you'll have two fantastic Fortnite videos for you to check out. Check them out because they're great. I will see you there. Take care.